Hey everyone, I am Murad Amir Sisodia, and today our topic is inequalities. We have previously discussed about uh, linear inequalities. Uh, now in today's class, we are going to start about graphical inequalities. But before starting graphical inequalities, I am giving you some a uh, little bit uh, description about how to draw a straight line. So this is the first straight line we need to draw, which is x equals to four. Now it's written x equals to four. So this is x o axis. So what I need to do is I just look at the four over here. The four is over here, and I'll simply draw a straight line over here. This is called x equals to four. That's how you can do draw the line of x equals to four. Let's suppose you have a line x equals to seven. So you just need to look seven over here, and you will draw a straight line over here. Simple. Now it is y equals to three. So y equals to three means it will intersect at y axis. This is y axis over here. And we have three over here, so I'll mark on three, and I'll draw a simple straight line over here. And if it is an x e uh, y equals to one, so I'll simply draw a line like this, it crossing, uh, y at one. Okay, there's a simple equation. Now x equals to two is already simple. Uh, if y equals to two is given, it's already simple, so we can do it. But what about the proper equation is given the form of y equals to m x plus c with a gradient in the y intercept? How you are able to draw it? So what you need to do is the main question is you need to draw a straight line of this particular equation which is y equals to 2x plus 1 so what you need to do is you will assume the points of x uh, by yourself which are 0 1 2 3 you can assume any three points related to your graph it's totally on you so i have assumed over here 0 1 2 and these are the assumptions which i have made over here so this can be the value of x so over here there's a straight line as you can see so how you have drawn the straight line over here so you just need to write the equation which is y equals to 2 x plus 1 and instead of x you will put a 0 over here so you have written a 0 over here and the value of y is 1 so when you put the value of x 0 the value of y is already 1 and in the next time what you have done you have put the value of x as 1 over here so the value of y is 3 okay now you got the value for y in this side this is 3 and now for x equals to 2 what you need to do is you will put the value of x as 2 over here and the value of y is 5 now in the last one what you need to do x equals to 3 it is so i'll write x as 3 over here and the value of y is 7 so i got my points which are x equals to 0 uh, at x equals to 0 y is 1 for x equals to 1, y is 3, and for x equals to 2, y is 5, and for x equals to 3, y is 7. So I have now got these coordinates. This is a first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate, and fourth coordinate. So what I need to do, I'll simply plot these coordinates on my graph. So the first coordinate is x0 and y1, 0, 1. I need to plot this coordinate on my graph. So 0, 1 is this coordinate. And now the second coordinate is 1 comma 3 which is this one 1 comma 3 and the third coordinate is 2 comma 5 which is 2 comma 5 over here and the third chord of uh, the last coordinate which we have the fourth one it is 3 comma 7 which is over here so i have just plotted these coordinates so what i need to do i will take my scale and i'll simply draw this straight line so as you can see there's a straight line over here there's a straight line drawn of this equation so whenever the examiner is asking you to draw a straight line what you need to do you follow this these kind of simple steps okay uh, now as you can see uh, there we have a graphical inequalities over here there are two kind of lines over here this is a solid line and there's a dotted line so whenever you have a solid line over here, this is called a solid line you have the sign as uh, greater and equal to and lesser and equal to. There is an equal to sign added to the inequalities. And whenever you are using a dotted line, so you only write greater than and lesser than, not a equal to attached to it. Okay. Now, uh, here we have one example like to solve this kind of inequalities. These are equations. These are not inequalities. These are called equations because we have an equal to sign over here. When this equals to sign changes into a sign of greater, lesser, or equal to whatever it is, uh, it must be a sign of inequality. Then you can call this thing as inequalities. Right now, this thing, these three are equations. 
okay these are not inequalities now we are coming to the example over here write down three inequalities which defines the shaded region so this is the shaded region as you can see this is the shaded region okay this is whole shaded region and we need to define this whole shaded region by three inequalities so we need what we need to do is we need to convert these three equations into inequalities so what you need to do is you need to highlight the first line so this is your first line over here now you need to identify whether your shaded region is downward or upward from this line so as you can see our shaded region is downward so i can and this is a solid line so I can change the sign and I can write it lesser and equal to because it is downward. So I'm using the sign lesser and equal to. OK, so now this equals to sign changes into lesser and equal to. OK, now for the second line, you have y equals to minus 2x plus 8. Now, again, this is a solid line over here and the shader region is again downward of this line so i'll change the sign and i'll make it lesser and equal to why lesser and equal to because the shaded region is downward that's why okay and y equals to because it was a solid line you always need to remember two kind of steps okay now for the third line you have y equals to 2 and this is your straight line now the shaded region is upward so upward means you will change this sign into greater and equal to why greater because it was upward and y equals to because this was a solid line so these three equations as you can see over here changes into these three inequalities so that's why you can easily define your region okay so now we are moving towards the next example in this example there is one new thing over here which are related to uh, the equations also so you have uh, the example is find three inequalities which describe the region inside the triangle. Okay, the region which is inside the triangle. So this is a triangle. These are the lines and this is the region which is inside the triangle over here. So I need to find three inequalities. So what I have to do first, I need to find the equations of three, these three lines. Okay, so what about this line one? Because this line is intersecting x at 6, so I can say that the equation of this line is x equals to 6. So I have written over here x equals to 6. This is the equation of this line. What you need to do is always you need to find the equation. If equation is given to you, then you will do the previous step which we have done it in our previous example. So what I have done over here is first I have to find the equation of this line which I have already done over here x equals to 6. Then I need to look whether my region is on right hand side or on left hand side. I need to describe the region which is on the left hand side. It's a decreasing side. So I can put the sign over here. X is lesser and equal to 6. Why lesser? Because it was on the decreasing side. And Y equals to because this line was a solid line. Now for the next one, what I need to do is there is Y equals to 3. This line is called y equals to minus 3. Why y equals to minus 3? Because this straight line is intersecting y at minus 3. So the equation of this line is y equals to minus 3. Now I need to look whether my region is upward or downward. My region is upward. So I'll add the sign y is greater and equal to minus 3. Why greater? Because upward. And y equals to because it was a solid line. Okay. Now I'm moving towards the third equation and there is no equation over here. So I need to find the equation of this straight line. So what I need to do to find the equation which we have already studied in coordinate geometry. What we have done is we need to identify two coordinates. The first coordinate is 0 comma 2 which I have marked over here. This is 0 comma 2 and the second coordinate is 2 comma 4 which is marked over here. So I have the I have like marked these two coordinates. This is uh, 0 comma 2. And this is 2 comma 4 okay this is the thing which we have done in uh, exercise uh, 6c or uh, 6d to find the equation of a 
straight line we just need to do that okay i have now two coordinates so what i need to do is i'll apply the main uh, equation formula which is y equals to mx plus e so i need to find the gradient m the y intercept of it now the gradient over here is if i apply the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 the gradient is 1 over here so i have already found the value of m and after looking at the graph the y intercept over here y intercept means when the graph intersect y axis so it is 2 the value of c which is y intercept over here is 2 so what i need to do is i just put the values of m and c in the formula so uh, instead of writing m i have written 1 over here and instead of writing c over here i have written the value of c okay now this is the main equation of this line again what i need to do is i look the region my region is downward okay now again because of that solid line i need to put uh, equals to sign and because my region is downward so i'll write y equals to lesser and equal to x plus 2 okay so that's all about the inequalities and all about the graphical inequalities which we have covered thank you